Hello, this is Dr. Michael Myers, Associate Professor of Health Sciences at National University. In this short video presentation, I'm going to show you how to do a one-way analysis of variants, or an ANOVA, in StatCrunch. In our previous examples in this video series, we've been talking about analyzing data with a t-test using a one sample, so we have means from one group, two sample, having means from two groups, and now we're going to look at three groups. So when we have three means to compare, we use an ANOVA. In my class, I use a simple example of three groups of men. The independent variable here is their marriage status, a nominal level or categorical variable, married, single, or divorced, and you see here their happiness scores on a happiness test. From 0 to 50, 50 being the happiest. So the question here is, are married men happier than single men or divorced men? What we want to do is compare the means of all three groups. This we do in an ANOVA in another distribution called the F distribution. Our null hypothesis here is going to be that mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3. The means of each group should be equal if nothing's going on. That's our null hypothesis. Our alternative hypothesis is that the means are unequal, that somehow the happiness is different in these groups. To do this in StatCrunch, all we need to do is get the data loaded in. Here I've typed it in, but you can pause this program and type these values in. Again, in StatCrunch, each row, when we do raw data, we want each row to be a subject. So you can see the first subject or patient, their independent variable is here, so the group they were in, the, whether they were married, single, or divorced and their happiness score. So for example, the first subject was married and had a happiness score of 42. Unlike in our two sample tests in StatCrunch, we can easily do an analysis on this data without splitting the data. Here we're going to do a one-way ANOVA because we have one independent variable, marriage status in this case. To do the ANOVA in StatCrunch, we simply click on the Stat tab, ANOVA, one way. That will call up our dialog box and we'll tell the software what to do. If we had put that data into separate columns, we would click up here, but since we have the values in a single column, we're going to click here, values in a single column. We're going to look at our responses in the score, and actually here, StatCrunch is smart enough to figure out which is the ratio or interval level variable, the numbers that are there. It's going to select just score. It's going to factor in the independent variable or the status. What we're going to do here is just do the simple ANOVA, so we'll just click Compute. StatCrunch then prints out all of the stats for us. It gives us the number in each group, which is 10. It calculates the mean, the standard deviation, and the standard error. The first line here is the degrees of freedom between the groups. So there's three groups. That's going to be n minus 1, or 3 minus 1, which is 2. The next line is going to be the degrees of freedom within, which is going to be the total number in our study, which is 30, minus the number of groups, which is 3, so we get a degrees of freedom of 27. It calculates the F statistic for us and the p-value. So from here you can see in our happiness example, we have a very large p-value, 0.88, which is way above 0.05. And again, this is the probability of seeing this value of test statistic or higher in our sample test. Here we have a very small F statistic, which corresponds, to, again, to our non-significant value. If we go to our table, we can compare this F statistic to our critical value in the table, just as we've done for our other tests. Looking at the F table, again, here's the degrees of freedom between the groups, so that's going to be 2. So we go down the two column, the degrees of freedom within is going to be our 27. So we scroll down, again this is the uh, 0.05 table, so we go down the two, get our 27, and our critical value here will be 3.35. So again, our F statistic here of 0.121 is not greater than our critical value of 3.35, further giving evidence that here we have a non-significant result your marriage status seems to have no bearing on your happiness in this sample. Once we're done, we can drag over and copy this data to put into our assignment or final documents. 
This is a quick demonstration of how we can use some sample data and perform a one-way ANOVA in StatCrunch.